I, I, why don't they just uh, have him as the editor of it? You know, he, you know, he has some experience. He supposedly edited newsletters at Business International Corporation when he worked for the CIA. Uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. But Putin is now because the Sochi Olympics start on February seventh. Look, Ukraine is to the west of Sochi. George is to the right, and and uh, you've also got all those uh, Muslim republics in the Caucasus. They are really, and then you got Prince Bandar following through with his threat to disrupt the Sochi Olympics. Let's stop right there. This is the one thing I wish I had the money to do. I'd have like two analysts who sit in there and, and record and write down everything you say and our other guests, and when it comes true, cover it. It was three, four months ago you reported on the Russian news that uh, he, Bandar had said that he was going to start activating Al-Qaeda ahead of the Olympics and daring it to ruin the Winter Olympics. If they didn't back off in Syria, they've now gone ahead with that. Uh, I mean, it's just, uh, tell, tell us what's coming next then, because you've been breaking all this. Well, I think uh, the Russians are very concerned. So now they've allowed the U.S. to station uh, uh, law enforcement officials in Russia, in Sochi. You've got the U.S. Navy that's going to be right off the coast. The Russians were concerned at first. Now they're more welcoming uh, of that presence. But uh, I would be very concerned if I were the Russians that this U.S. military and, and, and uh, law enforcement presence isn't used to facilitate something in Sochi rather than prevent it. So I would be very concerned. Obviously, if the Russians are as smart as we are. So let me ask this. Why are they allowing those ships in? I mean, what's the point of that? Just, I guess, to just take the high road or what's the point? Oh, if anything happens, they can say, look, it, you know, the blame goes around. Um, it wasn't just our security that failed. Look at the U.S., had their people here as well, but uh, oh, I get it. They're hedging bets and spreading the blame. Exactly, exactly. Which you might expect them to do, but you know, Sochi is such. You know, the whole attempt is with the boycott uh, because of Russia's policies on gays and and uh, all this other thing. Uh, now, now we've got the Soros topless trollops, the FEMA and women. Uh, protesting against food, uh, Putin. Yeah, let's talk about that. I don't want Russia to run Ukraine, and I don't want uh, the EU that's like a new Soviet empire sucking them dry. Ukrainian for the Ukrainians. The Russians have backed off Ukraine. Now they've got Soros when they voted a month ago not to join the EU, literally trying to burn that place down. He is a seditious little bastard since the days of him being a main collaborator with the Nazis hunting down Jews. And if you point that out, which he admitted on... on uh, CBS uh, 60 Minutes, you're called anti-Semitic by the ADL. Oh, that's right. I mean, Soros is what Soros is. He's a, he's a provocateur. He makes money. Remember, he has a hedge fund called the Quantum Fund. When there's, a, when there's any kind of disruption in places like Ukraine or Russia or anywhere else, he makes money on that. And he comes across as this progressive. He's not a progressive. He's the perfect villain for the next James Bond movie. As a matter of fact, he may have already been the villain. Uh, in, in Quantum of Solace. I don't think it was a mistake that Quantum uh, was the uh, the villain in the, in the last couple of James Bond. That's right, and they're trying to shut off the water to quadruple the prices. That's right, that's right. Which so, is an actual scam he's run in Latin America over and over again. And uh, the whole idea of getting Ukraine in the EU is to get them to start accepting genetically modified foods from Monsanto. Ukraine is the breadbasket for Russia, and what better way to penetrate Russia and then China also buys wheat and soy from Ukraine. So what a uh, what a better way to penetrate these two markets that right now ban genetically modified. Well, here's the deal: if Ukrainians want to overthrow their government, that's their issue. But when it's a foreign orchestrated, those protesters are on record uh, working for foundation groups. They're they're basically enemy soldiers. Yeah, and you know the street the street brochures handed out to the protesters in Maidan Square in Kiev are this are in Ukrainian, but they're the same leaflets that were handed out to those in Tahrir Square in Egypt, and we know how well that one turned out. Yeah, trying to turn those countries over to Al-Qaeda, but look, none of that's going well for them. I would say Brzezinski's operation, uh, right now, I give him a C-, minus. it's almost an F. A absolutely. I mean, Brzezinski is a well-known nationalist, Polish nationalist, who's always had a thing about bringing down Russia and you know why people like Kim and Albright who had a problem with the Slavic uh, countries in the Balkans, Yugoslavia, why these people are allowed to be secretaries of state and national security advisors are beyond me. We can throw Henry Kissinger in the mix. They bring their baggage from their home countries. Uh, they, they might as well come over on one of those 
tramp steamers with all the baggage and luggage that they bring into our national office. Uh, and, and then they bring all that and it affects our foreign policy in a very adverse way. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, if you're a new listener, folks, we're not left or right here. It's about what's justice and the high ground, the moral high ground. We're builders, not destroyers. We want to build America, build the rest of the world, work together. Then if you double cross us, we crush you. But we're sick of being the bad guys while the very same programs of deindustrialization that, that, that the West is using against other people are being used against us. These are anti-prosperity thugs running things. They're gangsters, and we're done with it, and they're trying to cause World War III with the Russians, and, you know, it's time they go down. Wayne, I want to take some calls the next two segments when we come back, folks that are holding on exiting the U.S. Matt Drudge sent out a tweet yesterday saying, have an exit plan. We've retweeted that at Real Alex Jones. You know, when is it time that we haven't backed these people off? When do we evacuate? I know you've left the country for a year before when they were sending a hit squad to kill you. So, so when do we leave, if ever? Do you know about the NSA loophole? Or maybe you think your law-abiding ways are too boring for them to care about you. Tell that to the Virginia farmer who was audited by the IRS because of her Tea Party activities. Or the Texas man who woke up to a SWAT team raid because of online comments he had made about his gun collection. No, God-fearing Americans like you are in the crosshairs. Learn how to drop off the government's radar and get off the grid at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation, and man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. What if I told you you could reverse diabetes and stop taking your diabetes medication? If you or someone you care about has diabetes or prediabetes, there's a special free video you need to watch. You may have heard about this. It's all over the Internet. 99weirdspice.com People who have followed this plan at 99weirdspice.com reportedly have not only normalized their blood sugar, but have stopped taking their diabetes meds completely with their doctor's approval. 99weirdspice.com is a natural, drug-free approach to reversing diabetes with remarkable results in as little as four weeks. 99weirdspice.com will save you from being a slave to doctor-prescribed drugs. It's easy. 99weirdspice.com gives you three specific actions to get your blood sugar under control. And the best part is the main ingredient and solution is a common spice found in most kitchens. Watch the free video for yourself at 99weirdspice.com. Watch for free. 99weirdspice.com. Get back the quality of your life and free yourself from diabetes medications. Go to 99weirdspice.com. A lot of big breaking news at InfoWars.com. We'll cover it in the next hour. Video, megabanks caught spying on anti-government citizens. That's their words and quotes. That's huge breaking news from StoryLeak.com up on InfoWars.com. Homeland Security drone crashes off Cali Coast. Authorities want remote access to California's home CCTV uh, feeds. Not just footage, it's feeds. You should probably change that word to feeds. They want live feeds inside your house. Also, bank run fears escalate as Russian lender bans cash withdrawals. That is mega huge. Police state gets ready for Super Bowl. What is it, 48? I'm going to do a special video on that in the next few days. FEMA preparing for 
motor coach evacuation of general population. That is just some of the news up on Infowars.com. And again, up on DrudgeReport.com, backing in GOP for illegals uh, to make them legal. I mean, just incredible. They're getting everything they want right now. Uh, Wayne, uh, this is a short segment. I'm going to come to you in just a moment. Let me be thinking about this question. I'm going to come back to you in a moment. What's happening with all the capital controls, the cash controls in Europe, the U.S., Russia, you name it? I'm going to ask you that question in a minute. And any other big breaking news we haven't covered, then we'll do one little segment, take some calls, take some more calls, then go to our next guest at 20 after in the next hour. I want to move that guest there and give them the last 40 minutes. <clears throat> but first off, this is a listener-supported transmission. And we need your financial support to continue and to be able to expand. Just to continue, we need your support. We need to be able to expand. In the face of this tyranny, we're upping our game. We're all in. What's the point of fighting? We don't fight all the way. We have a chance of winning. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, the best books, the best films, the best liberty-based apparel to meet like-minded people and spread the word. InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, or you can simply go to InfoWarsLife.com. It'll take you to the area uh, of the store that has a survival shield, nascent iodine, the super male vitality, the fluoride shield. I wanted to come out with medical doctors, researchers, and others with the best supplements out there. Really the highest quality organic, the most expensive, quite frankly, for us. Other stuff we could get to be a fraction of this. To really bring you super high quality at a very reasonable price, in some cases a low price. And then that funds our operation. InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. Same number for all the products, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. Now, now, Wayne, you heard my question there about what's happening with the currencies. Uh, and again, you've always got your ear to the ground. What are they getting ready for? We've seen dollar jitters. We've seen suppression of gold prices coming out mainstream news. We see a lot of trouble holding down inflation. Will they keep going QE unlimited? What's happening? Well, you may want to keep this uh, going with this printing up this worthless currency, but I, I get a sense, and I've been out here in the Pacific Northwest for last uh, several weeks, um, I, um, I'm getting the feeling that people are starting to hunker down, that this, I, this, this I, almost this disease of, of, of massive consumerism, I got to buy this, I got to buy this, I need more, I need more. It's, uh, people are starting to realize that's not the way to go. They're buying only what they need. Uh, I think we see more uh, in the way of bartering going on. At least I've seen it here in the Northwest. I think this is sending shockwaves through uh, the, the, the business uh, system, the, uh, the moguls of finance and banking, and they've got to create some sort of a uh, artificial crisis to get themselves out of this because people are getting smart. Uh, they're not going to put up with this anymore. And uh, they're, they're, no longer just buying uh, for the sake of buying. And I, I, they can say what they want about the last Christmas shopping season. But sure. Sales were way off, and, and people now are uh, not using as much gasoline. What is that doing to the, to the oil companies? That means they can't justify the Keystone pipeline anymore. They can't justify fracking uh, because people are getting smarter. They're, uh, they're start, as I say, they're starting to hunker down. And when, when they lose the, these compliant, uh, uh, consumers, uh, then you're cutting into their their bottom line, and they hate that. So that's right. That, they want us poor. They want us poor, but in their system, stay there. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.